This is what happened in year 41. Emperor Caligula is assassinated, Emperor Guangwu gets a new wife, and Vardanus loses his throne to his brother. If you want to know the long version, please continue watching after the intro. Hi there, my name is Peter Grunewald. In year 41, we still have the three main powers on Earth. Rome in the West, Parthia in the East, Eastern Han Dynasty in the Far East. We do have other civilizations running around the globe, but that is a topic for a completely different video. So, let's get in. Here we will cover the people who were born of note in year 41. On February the 12th, Tiberius Claudius Caesar Britannicus, son of Emperor Claudius, is born. He becomes the heir to Emperor Claudius's titles. But with time, future Emperor Nero would marry Britannicus' sister Octavia, becoming the new heir of the throne and replacing him. Britannicus died at the age of 30 soon after Nero became emperor. Here we will cover the events of year 41. Well, events that we can place in this year, that is. On January 24th, Emperor Caligula is assassinated. The lead conspirator is Cassius Caria, a Roman politician who Emperor Caligula mocked constantly. He was also the first to stab Emperor Caligula. The final straw for the men in the assassination plot was the emperor trying to move the power of Rome to Alexandria, Egypt, so that Emperor Caligula can be worshipped as a god. Most of the Senate knew of this assassination plot beforehand, and in the chaos of the assassination, Emperor Caligula's wife and daughter were sought out and killed brutally. Not yet Emperor Claudius was not part of the conspiracy, as he was found hiding behind a curtain after the event. A faction of the Praetorian Guard smuggled Claudius out of Rome to their camp outside, where Claudius found support to become the new emperor. He then started to drum up further support from the military. Emperor Claudius succeeded Emperor Caligula. So, let's have a quick overview of Emperor Claudius. Emperor Claudius was the fourth emperor of the Roman Empire, ruling from 41 CE to 54 CE. He was the uncle of Emperor Caligula, born in Langdunium in Roman Gaul in the year 10 BCE, as part of the Julian Claudian dynasty. Claudius was known for his intelligence and his administrative abilities, which he used to strengthen the Roman Empire. He was a capable military commander and expanded the empire's territory through the conquest in Britain and elsewhere. He also reformed the government and its legal system and promoted infrastructure projects such as constructing roads and aqueducts. Claudius was also known for his physical infirmities, which included a limp and a stutter, and made him an unlikely emperor in the eyes of the Roman people. He was initially seen as a weak and ineffective ruler, but he proved his worth as a ruler through his actions. Now, on January 25th, a day after the assassination, Emperor Claudius is accepted by the Senate as emperor unbegrudgingly. The Senate wanted to revert back to a republic, but the military convinced them that this would not happen. Remember, rule of succession, largest army wins. Emperor Claudius forgave most of the violence, except for a few officers, which he had executed, including the head of the lead conspirator, Cassius Caeria. Keep pronouncing that wrong. Emperor Claudius makes Herod Agrippa king of Judea, and on request from Herod, Emperor Claudius gives the kingdom of Chalcius in Lebanon to his brother Herod of Chalcius. Emperor Claudius restores the religious freedom to Jews throughout the empire, which was previously taken away by Caligula, but still prohibits Jews in Rome to convert others or to promote Judaism. Noricium, a client kingdom in Rome, is now incorporated into the Roman Empire as a province. 
This is one of many client kingdoms Emperor Claudius brings under the direct control in his reign. In the Eastern Han Dynasty, Empress Guang Shentong lost favor with her husband, Emperor Guang Wu. He decides to depose of her and her titles as the Empress. But unlike in the past, this Empress simply did not imprison the former Empress or kill her. He made another smart move, recognizing that she still has some authority in the Empire. He made her the Dowager of the province of Zhongsheng then made one of her sons the prince of Zhongsheng to solidify the position. But her other son, Yingang Jiang, was still the heir to the throne of the Eastern Han Dynasty. Emperor Guangwu then made his consort Ying Lihao empress, giving her new powers as well as making her sons more powerful. But as we said, no crown prince. Emperor Guangwu acts on the Turang sister rebellion in the south and by the end of the year he instructed the great general Ma Wan to suppress the sisters and bring back the territory into the Eastern Han Dynasty. In Parthia, Vardanus I is the new emperor of the Parthian Empire but his brother Gortarzes II takes the throne instead and kills another brother. The nobles of Parthia plead to Vardanus I to take back the throne, and in two days Vardanus travels over 600 kilometers to take his brother by surprise and defeats him. This alone gains the support of most of the Parthian provinces and he takes control of most of the Parthian empire once again. Next year will be a very wild year for Parthia, please stay tuned for that. Here we will look at the people who passed away in the year 41, with a few previously mentioned. On January 4th, Caligula, the Roman Emperor, is assassinated as mentioned previously. His body is burned and placed in his sister's tomb, Julia Drusilla. Caligula was known for his eccentricity and his cruelty during his reign. He was said to have a volatile and unpredicted personality, which led him being both feared and hated by the Roman people. He is well known for his excessive spending, including building a bridge of boats across the Bay of Naples, as well as for his sexual promiscuity and his use of torture. Caligula was also known for his intense paranoia and cruelty towards perceived enemies, including members of the Roman Senate. He had many people killed or exiled without trial, and he is said to have ordered the execution of innocent people on a whim. Most are happy he is no longer alive. Julia Drusilla, daughter of Caligula, is also killed in the plot. She died when a Protean god smashed her head against a wall, which is a brutal way to die. <music> Melonia Cassonia wife of Caligula is killed in a similar fashion to her daughter. Asprenas Calpurnius Cyrus, a Roman politician, also died this year. He is unfortunately known for one thing, and that is he was an innocent victim of the assassination plot of Caligula. The morning of the assassination, Seranus Sir made a sacrifice to the gods getting some animal blood on his cloak. As he then walked through the streets of Rome, one of Caligula's bodyguards rushed around in search of the people who killed his emperor and came upon Seranus. Assuming that the blood on the Rome was that of the emperor, he killed Seranus where he stood. <music> Gnaeus Domitius Aenobarbus Husband to Agrippa the Younger and father to future Emperor Nero is, uh, died. He died of edema outside of Rome. <music> Julia Lavilla, daughter of Germanicus, died. She was part of the failed assassination attempt in year 38 against Emperor Caligula. This year, her uncle, Emperor Claudius, sentenced her to death by starvation. It seems Claudius did not trust her at all. So this is year 41. If we forgot anyone, any births or any events, please remind us in the comments below. 
please subscribe we are going to try and cover every year after this one as best as we can if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to no year zero and supporting me on patreon with enough support we can go from a bi-weekly channel to a weekly published channel thank you for watching and please come back next year